warm and humid tropics, a tiny and creepy creature lurks beneath the soil. It slithers and wriggles, seeking out bare skin to penetrate and invade. Once inside, it begins to reproduce and spread throughout the body, causing a range of mysterious and unsettling symptoms. Its presence may go undetected for years, silently wreaking havoc on its unsuspecting host until it's too late. This insidious creature is a master of disguise, able to evade detection by the immune system and medical professionals alike, leaving its victims to suffer in isolation and confusion. Can I introduce Strongyloides stercoralis? Strongyloides stercoralis is a tiny parasitic nematode. The adult female worms measure around 2 to 3 millimeters in length, while the males are slightly smaller, around 1 to 2 millimeters. A person walking barefoot on the soil can accidentally pick up some larvae of the worm. As the larvae travels through the person's skin, they make their way into the bloodstream and then to the lungs, where they climb up into the airways and are coughed up and swallowed. Once in the intestines, the larvae grow into adult worms and begin reproducing, laying thousands of eggs each day. Some of these eggs hatched into new larvae that passed out of the person's body in their feces, contaminating the soil and starting the cycle all over again. But here's the tricky part. Sometimes, instead of hatching into larvae outside the body, the eggs hatch within the person's intestines and the larvae migrates back into the intestinal walls, where they continue to reproduce and cause ongoing infection. This is called an auto-infection cycle and can last for years or even decades. A strongyloidiasis infection can cause a range of symptoms, including skin irritation, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and vomiting. In some cases, there may be no symptoms at all. Especially for people with weakened immune systems, the infection can be dangerous. It can lead to a condition known as hyperinfection syndrome, where the larvae multiply uncontrollably and spread throughout the body, causing severe and potentially life-threatening symptoms such as respiratory failure, sepsis, and meningitis. Treatment typically involves medication to kill the parasite, but in some cases, it may be difficult to fully eradicate the infection. Strongyloidiasis is found most commonly in tropical and subtropical regions, particularly in areas with poor sanitation and hygiene practices. It is endemic in many parts of the world, including Southeast Asia, Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, and some parts of the Southern United States. People who have traveled to or lived in these areas are at higher risk of contracting the disease. The following measures can help prevent strongyloides infection. Good hygiene practices such as washing hands with soap and water before eating and after using the toilet. Wearing shoes when walking on soil or in areas where the parasite may be present. Avoiding walking barefoot in areas where the parasite is prevalent, especially in tropical and subtropical regions. Proper sanitation and disposal of feces to avoid contaminating the soil with the parasite. Treating infected individuals and their close contacts to prevent the spread of the infection. It's important to note that some individuals may be more susceptible to strongyloides infection, such as those with weakened immune systems, so they should take extra precautions to avoid exposure.